Hello. How are you guys? What are you guys doing? Fine. I'm a bit tired. Oh shit! Hey, I didn't realize you were I... here. I was talking. I was talking to Twitch chat. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hello. I gotta got change my stupid settings. You have a bit of a headache today, too, Talon? Well, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, hey, that sucks, too. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite streamer, Twitch. Hey, Alice, thanks for the resub. You're welcome. Feel better, too, Talon. Tell her no. I want to feel no. better. I want to feel terrible. My mom. mom. She's my mom. I say it first. <laughs> okay. Hi, mom. Uh, is this a gas station? Oh, it is. There's just only one place to get gas. Don't back up, Baka. Hmm? Do not back up. I'm still in the convoy browser to see what job you're gonna take. Uh, I'm not gonna take a job until I get gas. Ah, okay. Let me see if I need anything. I hope you don't need gas. I hope so too. <laughs> oh. Shh, she has no idea. Don't yeah, I got her. gas and everything uh, shortly after we left the convoy session last time. Don't. Nobody tell Baka I need gas, and she's sit she's sitting in the only gas pump in the entire city. Oh, oops. <laughs> Hey, all right. Look at that. Sorry, I it's didn't a... know you could see me when I wasn't loaded into the game. Yeah, well, it loads you into the game even if you're just um, looking at the, the browser and stuff. Okay. You should have told me. I would have told you eventually, but that's why I said don't back up is because I was behind you waiting. <laughs> I'm at a repair station if you guys need it. I'm actually completely fine. For I once? Think I went to a repair station before we stopped last time. 
also to a gas station. <laughs> Happy's making so much noise over there. I don't know what's going on. You have no idea why. No, no idea. Cappy adorable. <laughs> Where did you disappear to? Your truck just dis went invisible. Wouldn't you like to know? I mean... Uh, okay, external contracts... Potatoes? We had to do potatoes? Potatoes. Four potatoes. Still, you, you still need one potato? Potatoes. I got all mine. Yeah. Same. Well, now I'm here and I'm getting potatoes. Uh, that's fine. If you want to do a potato, we it's can do a potato. Late. It's too late. Let's... We're doing potatoes. Okay, let's potato, do a potato. potato. Let's go for a potato then. <laughs> every, every, everybody has long distance three, right? Yes. Yes. I had to think there for a minute. <laughs> I have I have accepted a job. It is worth huh, fifty six. It is worth fifty six thousand dollars. I see okay. that. It's a big boy. It it's is a, big a it boy. is a big potato. So yeah, just think, just telling you right now that I don't know how long I'll be able to drive tonight because I have. At 7 p.m. Mountain, mountain Standard Time, I have uh, the Wild Amount Session Zero. That is an hour and a half. Yeah. I guess we better get going. Vroom vroom! Wait, an, in an hour and a half? Yes. It's like it's 3 a.m. then. Okay. Like an hour and 40 minutes, but... Hmm. Essentially an hour and a half, yeah. Yeah, if I didn't have to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow, I'd be staying longer too, but... Are you Eastern? Yeah, I'm Eastern. Okay. I get up at 6 o'clock as well, but I'm Central. I'm still not used to it completely, so... And then, uh, what was it, Friday? I was just dead after coming home. <laughs> we should have dri we should have driven then. then. That way you could have crashed for the first time. <laughs> well, totally understandable, though. I mean, it's if it's the first time working after a long time. Yeah, it was only like a four-hour shift, but it was on register, so it was like me standing all day and trying to learn everything do they have those uh do they have those little rubber mats that cushion your yeah feet? yep okay good good it doesn't it didn't seem like it helped at all my feet still hurt after but oh yeah 100 percent feet will still hurt feet would have hurt 10 times worse if you've been standing on that like concrete floor or whatever oh, I could, i've stood on concrete floor for like eight hours that stuff is, that is brutal yeah, I've done, like, I was walking on it constantly, but still, like, tile or concrete for, like, eight hours, even walking on it for eight hours just sucks. Yeah, walking makes it a little easier, but... Yeah. Not, Not a by lot. much. No, but... Yay, potato. Potatoes. Potato. We take big potato, because big potato pay money. Big potato, yummy. We ate potatoes today. Me, we had, we, I, I we, ate too. We had mashed potatoes. I had onion rings today, so... That counts. Okay. 
I we got had cooked and baked I know there's no potato potatoes. in it, but I'll, I'll, I'll count onion rings as potatoes for some reason. Well, yeah, you could always <laughs> find a stray fry in your onion rings, so... Yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. You and that's, know. like, the best type of fries of stray fry in your onion rings it's always it's always better when you order fries and you get a stray onion ring in your oh, fries yeah that too that's delicious and you're that's at least you save it best. for last oh no way dude i eat that shit as soon as possible i save it for like either last or in the middle depending on how i feel that day you know potato mm. mr potato where are you savor it oh i found my potato he is, he is big boy. He's a heckin' big chunker. I hope you can get out that way. We're gonna find out. And here I am, still arriving at the place. That's okay. I hit the wrong button. This is a very long job, so if you don't have time to finish it before you need to take off, you could just, like, pull off and, and then finish it, like... Yeah, I mean, Tomorrow. still like 20 hours yeah, in real life. 23 and a half hours. I think you're good to finish cool. it tomorrow or something. Yay. I'm gonna shoot to finish it tonight. Yeah. I am so hyped for tonight. So, wild amount. You don't have to lie. You could say you're you're gonna be bored the whole time. That's fine, too. You don't have to lie to us. <laughs> We're going have to, to have to vestige discussions. That is a hundred percent. Our cells of the vestige. This building is one hundred percent a uh, a Walmart. Yeah. Okay, I have my potato. I has my potato. Baka has potato. Almost. No, no, Baka has no potato. Okay. And two Talon has no potato. We wait. We wait for Potato on Highway. Okay. Okay. The episode, the title of this episode is Potato. <laughs> How heavy is this thing? Oh, it's not too heavy. Bad. This one's only 8,000 pounds. That's not anything. No. Not for potato. <laughs> ah. Is red light. Yeah, this job is 971 miles, uh, 17, 17 and a half hours, so we're going to need to sleep in the middle of this. I gotta find the new app I just downloaded for Twitch on my phone. It does the uh, BTTV emotes. Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah. So now you get to see Monka Steer. Yeah, I looked at it, uh, what was it, the other day ago or a few days ago, I was like, oh, that's really cute. Because I can do it. It's exactly what you picture it looks like when somebody starts going off-road and they can't control their truck. He's like, oh, shit. Oh. I like the cat. I forgot the cat. What's the cat? Oh, is it the meow? Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that cat. That cat's great. I saw that. I was like, oh, that's so cute. It's even better when you see the video that that cat came from. Is he's just like <laughs> staring. He's just staring at his owner and not doing anything. And then all of a sudden he's just like, Meow! <laughs> and you're like, oh, crap. What? Dude, what, what the hell was that for? I think I've seen <laughs> it. Uh, Two Tail and Mbaka have their potatoes. They have their potatoes? Yeah. Oh, the, oh and they're on Stop the highway, up. basically. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you in. We call it. Thank you. <laughs> we call it. We call it Krompir, Slovenian. Potato. Krompir, yeah. Potato. <laughs> Kartoffeln. 
mashed, <laughs> mashed prob prob fear or whatever. Pire is mashed potatoes. Okay. <laughs> Just, okay. I know it's a weird word. Foreign languages are strange. They are. Yeah. Especially German. Oh, German yeah. is just the strangest. So, like, it's you're always yelling when you're speaking or hearing German. It's like, <laughs> we're always yelling. You want to tell somebody to have a nice day, and you're just like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. And they're just like, holy crap. Okay, well, haben Sie ein gutes Tag? <laughs> haben Sie ein gutes Tag? <laughs> no, no, thank you. Please stop yelling. No. That's what they would say too. Aber ich bin nicht jammern. All right, you're showing a yeah. Uh, Baka knows three languages. Matt can't even speak English. I didn't look. <laughs> Where are you going, Matt? <laughs> just, just painting some roads. <laughs> I like to hear you going through that. Sixty-five, too. <laughs> no, nope, no reason to slow down. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna and paint some roads too. I wasn't close like enough, that. and there was a car. Or I would have done that too. I'll have to go through there a third time so I can get the back half of it too. Yeah, I wish it would get yeah. the entire thing sometimes. Yeah, I got the fir the first, the closest lane. Oh come on, car, go faster! He didn't even stop. He just went through it. He was painting the road too, I guess. <laughs> When we all have enough, uh, people in our, like, garages and everything, we should just start driving, like, states. Yeah, painting, yeah. painting roads for fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, I took a hundred thousand loan last time and got myself a new truck and driver, so... Excellent. Nice. Yay! So now you've got somebody making money for you, too. Yeah, wait, I... No, I think I didn't take a loan. I have ten thousand dollars still, so I guess I... Did that? Just bought it with straight with my money. Never mind. Well, you'll be getting a bunch today, so. Yep, I'm gonna get like half of that money back today. <laughs> I took like a four hundred thousand dollar loan. I took a huge one. Yeah, I took it at the beginning. I think. I think we at all the, did just to get our truck. At the beginning. At the beginning, gang. gang. <laughs> did you watch that video? <laughs> At the Beninging, <laughs> I think it was uh, an African president of, of an African country. At the Beninging, at the Dandanem, <laughs> you couldn't read the beginning. English I don't, I don't think hard. I've seen that. I think I've posted it in Cute Funny, too. Maybe. Did you see the clip I posted in there this morning? Yeah, I, I was watching the stream when you were streaming uh, Satisfactory this morning. I found it oh, okay. hilarious. Did you I watch that Drifting Simi? I did. I haven't gotten to that yet. I'll be getting to that after tomorrow. After I get home from work. How many times has Baka wrecked so far? Overall or just today? If you're asking today, about today, not. yeah, if you're asking about today, the answer is zero. We Overall, just, I think we, like three or four. Yeah. Today is Overall zero. less than me and Matt. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'm beating my record. Like last time I didn't I didn't even crash either. 
think for the last two or three convoys I didn't crash anything. No, you've been doing pretty good even with your pain. <laughs> yeah, so I got $684 from my driver. Nice. Also, hey Adam. Hey, you can't look at cute stuff, laugh, and then not send me a copy of it. <laughs> not right now. Is it from this podcast? Not right now. Well, it's not audio. It's audio. Okay. Milk. Deliciously natural. <laughs> I already posted a thing with Bear, my cat, in Discord. He was trying to help. Mom didn't- Mom texted me a photo of her cat today, but she didn't put it in Discord. Oh, <gasps> how could she? That's blasphemy. Mom! Come on! Post it quick! We want a kitty! We love our kitties! Uh, construction left side. I see that. I slowed down just a touch in case if there's anything in front of you. We are all clear. Good. I, I can actually see someone with potato in front of me. In the distance. Uh, but probably me. Them. Oh no, it's too talented. Oh, that's two. Mom said she'll post it. Awesome. Yay. We have potato. Mm. Exit. Stage right even. You might want to slow down, Baka. I did. Oh yeah, two talent. Did you get your venture? No. I posted an Eve and somebody said they had a spare one that they were willing to give to you. I have to pull one. Same. Boo hoo. Where's the way station? Oh, here it is. So, yeah, check Somewhere the, magically? Check the Eve Discord uh, after this and. There's somebody in there that was like, yeah, I got a spare venture. Tell him to t tell him to message me. Did you get blown up by bad guys, by by NPCs or by players? I'm pretty sure it was a player with as fast as I died. It had to have been a player. Okay, yeah. Because um, I was trying to go mine and I think it was a null sec actually. Well, and there was right. nobody on my screen because I was watching for reds just in case I had to jump out real quick. There was nothing there and I just was gone. Huh. Yeah, I've learned that uh, I probably don't want to play on the on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh. Because that's when all of the, like, all of the campers come out. Oh, all the jerks? Yeah. I know it's legal, but it's still a jerk move. Yeah, so I'll just I'll just do minor stuff Friday like if I want to putz around in the safe areas on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But there's a there's one particular area that's that's a high sec zone. They're not supposed to like you get punished if you kill other players there. Hmm. Uh, but it's still it's like a super hot zone for people getting killed. Huh. So so I'm like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start telling everybody in the corp that I'm like if you guys want stuff done, make sure to set the time limit so that it goes past the weekend, because I'm not I'm not doing that on the weekends. Yeah, it's not fair to get a, tr a new space vehicle every day, or whatever. It's really aggravating the way that game's set up to get your shit back. I, I just really don't like it. Yeah, I'm just... 
I'm basically going to stay in the safe areas for pretty much Weekends. the entire pretty much the entire game, I think. <laughs> like, well, like I was doing um, combat missions today and my I wasn't paying attention and got destroyed. And you know, when I got killed by the player, like I could go back and get my stuff that was in my ship. Like I put it in like a um, a chest, I guess. But when I got blown up today by the NPC, I didn't leave my stuff there, so I lost like all my ammunition and weapons and everything. Ouch. That yeah, sounds painful. Ouch. Yeah, there's only a chance that your stuff drops. So sometimes it drops out of your ship and sometimes the stuff is destroyed with your ship. And then Ew. if it if it drops and you're killed by a player, the player can loot it. So that he can steal all your stuff. That just like I get it's legal and everything. That's just stupid. And being it's any game like that ever. Oh, I know. I get it. <laughs> I a hundred percent get it. But nah. Like I was playing Elite and I was running um a community mission to uh, a space station trying to rebuild it. And I accidentally went into live. I went in there, I had, I don't know, a couple mil worth of credits in my ship, and somebody ganked me in that game, too. The only thing is, you lose all that. Ew, grody. Yeah, I wish there was a game like Elite or like Eve that was just single player. Yeah. Well, Elite can be single player. You can do solo mode, which means there's no body but the NPCs. And then you can also do um, private servers, which means like you and I could play together and there wouldn't be anybody that we didn't know inside that. Unless private... you invited them. Right. Mm. Like I'll this game. Maybe I'll install Elite and take a look at it. I don't know how, because you only get that free version from Epic, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's the it's the full game. It just doesn't include the new DLC that just came out. Yeah, but I don't know how that's going to work with Odyssey. Oh, because you've got the DLC? No, because I think a lot of things that, when they did the update of Odyssey, made it to where you couldn't just play the basic game anymore. I might be wrong. I mean, you might still be able to play it, but I'm not real certain. And then if you don't have Horizons, you're going to miss out on a lot of gameplay styles. Like, you won't have any planet side landing or anything like that without Horizons. Yeah, yeah that's kind of my reaction to that. Uh. Well. I mean, you get all the space stuff, so, I mean, you at least get to see what that's like if they allow you to, if it's It just sounds complicated. I don't know. I'll install it and, and see. Give it a shot. If it turns out that it's one of those things where they're like, you know, you can't play the game unless you buy all the DLC, then I'll just be like, well, uninstall. Not, <laughs> not getting that anytime soon. I'm not going to I'm not going to drop like 40 or 50 dollars into a game that I have no idea if I'm even going to like. Yeah, I get that. Elite goes on yeah. sale quite a bit. Yeah, but still, you know. I don't even like I buying I don't even like buying games at all. I, I don't know I'm gonna like. I feel like Elite's a lot like um Eve, only first person. I can bypass. Awesome. I cannot. Bummer. Yay. Just kidding. I mean, it gives me a chance to catch up a little bit to Alice, at least. I'm gonna yeah, try. I, I'm thinking... Sorry. Go ahead. Thinking of buying, um, New World. New World? Um, What's that? The new MMO that everyone's... Oh, the Amazon on. one? Yeah. Yeah, I've... Mm, I've been, like, iffy. Because I've heard so many, like, weird things about it. 
I mean, I'm look on the lookout for a uh, World of Warcraft alternative. Uh, yeah, with how Blizzard is going down right now. Yeah, I mean, I love the game. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you know. Yeah, I get it. I only stopped playing WoW because um, it just meh. I tried it, didn't really care for it, and you know. I never liked WoW. Well. Hey, at least I can say I tried it, you know? Yeah. Well, see, I played the original Warcraft. So, oh, oh, WoW destroyed WoW uh, for me. You're not innovating? Yeah. But I'm also not smart enough to play MMOs either. To like find the right MMO to get into to play it, and I haven't really found the right one. I mean, I found I really liked playing World of Warcraft because I could, when I got to the max level, I could just relax, do everyday stuff every now mm -hmm. and then, you know, go back into the old dungeons, try to get the mounts and transmogs and stuff. I could just relax, but with everything going on, yeah. It's sucky that that's happening. Yeah. I can't wait for the Di Diablo 4. <laughs> Not my that's type of game, but... Also Blizzard. Yeah, Diablo was like one of the very first PC games I ever really played. That and Duke Nukem. I think I played maybe the first game, the demo version, at least, of it. I don't know what the demo version was. It's like you, you appeared in a village and had to go to the castle, ripped something, introduction to it. I don't know which, which version that was. It's a long that's, time ago. That's pretty much the description of almost every one of those style of games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind then. Yeah, they all pretty much are like, you start as a lonely farmer in your own village and it gets attacked by these people, so you go off to the castle nearby to get help, and they tell you they can't help you, but they'll let you do it yourself if you're brave enough. And then you're like, well, <laughs> that's, the, that's the start to like half of all fantasy games. Yeah, essentially. True. Yeah, I've been running into the issue of finding a new game for me to play every so often. I'm like, oh, I finished this game. What game should I play now? Type thing. Because I played a lot of games during Pandemic and finished a lot of them during Pandemic. Yeah, same. Have you tried Gothic or Gabriel Knight? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I would like them. I could look at them and go from there, you know? Or, sure. I mean, they're older, but... They're still some of my favorite franchises. Every oh, time... Fable's right up my alley, Mom. Every time I say I don't know what game to play next, Baka's all like, "You want to try? <laughs> you want to try Gothic?" And I'm all like, "Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I one of these it. days." <laughs> uh, you should do the Alien I'll Isolation. Never give up. Ugh, I tried it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like it. We know. I mean, I liked it, but I also didn't like it, you know? It was a really good game, and I believe that it's... It deserves more credit than it gets, but not from me. You were just too scared. Yeah, yeah, you were just too afraid to play it. It makes me poop my pants. <laughs> and Cappy enjoys the cat scares, right? <laughs> slow turn, slow turn. Oh, yeah, I see, thank you. We got a red light. Did I ever play Dishonored? No. I think I, think I liked it. I think Dishonored's a little too fast-paced for me is my problem. Uh, oh, yeah. we'll I don't think you know what Alice Dishonored we'll is. I do know what Dishonored is. How would you say it's fast-paced? It's an assassination game. 
because I watched David. Because I watched David play it, and he was very fast the entire time. Oh, so he, he did not play the sneaky version then? He uh, did. Yeah. Just wait. Oh, he did? Yeah, he, he almost never got caught in any single mission. Damn. Oh. Noise. I need to go watch that then to see. He was very like. Every time he got into combat, it was always like. All the all the abilities of like zipping around and teleporting yourself around corners and stuff, and I'm like, I ain't got the brain for that. <laughs> you said you didn't have the brain for a rogue, then you loved it. For what? In World rogue. of Warcraft. Oh. Rogue World of Warcraft. Oh. You didn't have the brain for it, and you really enjoyed it. Well, that's also taking into consideration I was fighting just your average NPC enemies. Hmm. If you put me against a player, I would be terrible. I mean, yeah, the only time you won against me was when I was level 8 and you were level 12 or something. Or I was level 3. <laughs> well, we had the duels. <laughs> Two duels, I think. But yeah, Alice, another game franchise I really enjoy playing? Dragon Age. Tried it, I couldn't get into it. Which one did you try first? Uh, I think the original? I don't know, I'd have to look. Origins? I can't remember. I'd have to look. Yeah, the first one is very, like, CRPG. And then they evolve with each, with each game. I love the lore of it. Dragon Age. I just want uh, the new Witcher with, as I'm calling it, Witcher 4, which I know it's probably not going to be called Witcher 4, but for my sanity's sake. Fable 4, <laughs> which probably I, we already know is not called Fable 4, but my sanity's sake, Fable 4. Half-Life 3. <laughs> yeah, Horizon. Uh, the new Horizon. Horizon 2. God Award. Uh, what is it? Five. Six? Five, six? I don't know. Those Wait, are the games they're I'm making looking forward new, to. They're making a new God of War game? Yeah, God of War Ragnarok. Oh, didn't know that. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's I officially called. Of, yeah, I've played some of the 2018 one with the PS4. I really like it, but I never finished it. I haven't finished it yet. As long so as it's so hard to get used to the controls on the PS4. Yeah, as long as Tilk uh, continues to voice act Kratos, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. Loan installment payment five thousand seven hundred eighty-eight. Nice. That's a lot of money. Noise. Just a few more days. A few more days. Well, three more days, and I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy again. Yeah. Woo. I can't wait. I could just make our own rules. I mean. If I can, why not? Which one? Final Fantasy 1? I hope it's gonna look decent-ish. If that makes sense. I'll watch it look like Pokemon. For DS. 3DS or something, I don't know. So far it looks really good. The only thing okay. everybody, the only thing people seem to be complaining about is that the text looks too too small. But hopefully they fix maybe that. Maybe you, maybe you can 
change it like you can what text you want so you cannot who who I have to admit, the text does look crazy tiny. Um, it's like, I don't understand why... They have, like, this giant text box with plenty of space to work with, and they chose, like, the smallest font. I think it's because... Yes. Chances are it's the same font in English and Japanese, and they chose it because it looks good in Japanese. Maybe. Yeah. That's obnoxious, though. If that's the case, they'll eventually release a patch for it. Oh yeah, most likely. They're just probably trying to get it out. Yeah. Let me know if your character starts yawning. Okay. I think we might finish this job before you have to leave, Baka. Cool. Still have an hour. Yeah, this will probably take another 40... 45 minutes, maybe? Give or take. Cool. Yeah. We're not quite halfway there yet, no. but we're getting close. I think when we get to the rest point, we should wait for everybody. Hmm. So that we can kind of, like, regroup for the second half again. Okay. They're not that far back anyway. Nah. I keep getting pulled for frickin' way stations. <laughs> I've only- I've passed three of them and I've only been able to skip one. I've gone through every single one so far. What are you stopping for, man? <laughs> Stupid Prius. <laughs> Stupid Prius. <laughs> it was, too. I don't think I've seen a Prius in my country. Is it an American-based, mostly, car? Mm, it's a Toyota, so it's Japanese. Huh. No, I don't think I've seen a Prius yet. They have a very unique, uh, shape. Yeah. So they can go, meow! <laughs> Prius! Or as Jeff Dunn would say, I'm gay. Yep. Did you guys watch a YouTube video about some guy who imitated motorcycle sounds? Like, Yamaha or... Ooh, oh yeah, I've seen uh, that. Yeah, that's amazing. That was, uh, I think I saw that either on TikTok or something like that. Yeah, he's a. That was that. That's an amazing video. You didn't throw anything. No. Okay. Are you sure she didn't throw anything? She said she didn't, and she's picking stuff off the floor. So I believe her. <laughs> Cappy adorable. How's Cappy? Oh, she died. <laughs> Rip. Oh, jeez. That would My be the response. That would be the response I would have if if I ever show up to the stream and I'm just like Cappy died. All right, time to play golf. <laughs> F to pay your respects. Yeah. F. Everybody type F in the chat. Happy die. Real. What is F? 
What does F mean anyway? I've seen it happen on some other streams. There was a video game. I forget which one. It was one of the Call of Duties or Battlefield games or something like that. But at, in the story, there was a there was a point in the game where one of the other characters in the game dies. Like, permanently. Mm. And you go to the person's funeral and you walk up to their their casket sitting on sitting above the hole in the ground and then their a prompt appears on the screen that says press f to pay your respects ah and it's, okay it's the most ridiculous thing ever because it's like it's a mini game to pay your respects at somebody's gravesite it's so stupid so it just it's turned stuck into, with the community though yeah now it's just f when somebody dies, it's just a just just meme. Yeah, exactly. It's just a meme for itself. A permanent meme. Congrats to know its origins, though. Yeah, it it was so dumb. Every like even the hardcore fans of that game series were like, "Wow, this is stupid." <laughs> <laughs> it's like a quick time event for someone's death. It feels almost as bad as that quick time event in Mass Effect where you have to do the the Paragon interrupt and all you do is you like you give like Anderson a high five or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, "What? That was it?" <laughs> That's dumb. Yeah, uh, when I did my Mass Effect legendary one, I was evil. Everyone lived! Everyone was fine. I was just evil. Okay. Even, uh, Rexy lived. That was well, my first time ever having Rexy live, too. <laughs> That's weird. It's because I never had gotten, like, full, like, uh, the percentage I needed of, like, Paragon or Renegade when I had played it in the past. I relate almost I everything to Mass Effect. Well, I mean... You play a game enough. Yeah. I can bypass. Watch me need to go in. Watch. Oh no! Wow! Awesome! Zoom zoom. It's like people that play Zelda all the time will reference things in comparison to Zelda or, or mm -hmm. Metroid or whatever. Dragon Age. <laughs> I don't know. What you're Speaking about. of Zelda, I've heard Skyward Sword is not doing that great. Well, it wasn't that popular when it first came out either. No, I know. As a game franchise, I've never played. What Zelda? Yep. I played it for the first time, uh, like a bit after Breath of the Wild came out. There are some and really, I really liked it. There are some really, really good titles in that series. And there's also a couple of the, that are like... Meh. They, they have their, like, dedicated fan bases, but the majority of Zelda fans are just kind of like, eh. <laughs> yeah. The I only, really liked Breath of the Wild. I can't the, wait for the second. The only Zelda you liked was Wind Waker. Wind Waker was good. I think that's Cappy's favorite. My favorite's always going to be uh, Link to the Past. The OG. No, oh, man, that's the, that's the third game. <laughs> I know, I'm being silly. But yeah, I fully admit the reason I like Link to the Past more than any of the others is nostalgia. You know? Well, that makes sense, though, for you. I played it as a little kid. I've, pl I've beaten it probably a dozen times. You should stream it. I have. You did? Yep. I played I played uh, Link to the Past and I played Super Metroid. It's probably on his uh, YouTube now, Baka. They are. Yeah, I'll go check them out one day.
Probably after I catch up to Critical Role. <laughs> yeah, I it's think hard Super work, man. I think Super Metroid. I beat it in two streams. Is it, it can that take... short of a game? Uh, it is if you know where to go and what to do. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. It's definitely not my first time beating the game, but yeah. A lot of the a lot of the thing that causes you to spend a lot of time in that game the first time you play it is what the game gives you absolutely no direction at all. It's yeah. one of those it's back from the age when they would just put you in a video game and be all like, okay, figure it out. Yeah, I know that age. And so the first time I played it, God, it took me months to to beat that game. And now I can I mean there's there's speedrunners that can do 100% of everything in the game in less than, an, in like an hour and 15 minutes. Jesus. And even then, like, I know a lot of the, I know the game really, really well. It would still take me like six or seven hours to beat it. Hmm. A good Link to the Past player can, can do a full clear in four to five hours. Yeah. I think it took me three or four streams to beat Link to the Past. So like 12 oh, to yeah. 12 to 15 hours, I think. And Is that 100%? No. no. <laughs> I don't know. If I had to guess, I would probably say I in in both Super Metroid and Link to the Past, I probably do about 75% of it. Yeah. So it's pretty good. There's a lot of extra stuff that's just completely unnecessary. Oh yeah, definitely. That's any game, though. So... Yeah, I, if you... If you sat me down and told me to 100% Link to the Past, that would take me forever. It's only because I don't know where everything is. There's a lot of there's a lot of hidden cave entrances and stuff that have one thing in it that's completely unnecessary that I would I would just completely miss for days <laughs> and never go there. I'd be like at 98% and people would be like, you're missing one thing, but I won't tell you where it is, and I'm like, great. Thanks. Fucking, I'm gonna be here forever for this. Same thing with, um, with Super Metroid. I just cannot remember where everything is. I think I usually miss the X-ray vision in Super, in Super Metroid, too. What does the X-ray vision do? It lets you see through walls. Oh. I haven't played a Metroid game, that's why I asked. Honestly, if you asked me where to start with Metroid, I would tell you to start with Super Metroid, because it's... It's an amazing entrance into the series. I don't like the feeling of being completely lost, if that makes sense. Like, not knowing where to go, what to do. No, that sounds crazy. I don't get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need, a, like, a clear goal sometimes in some games or other games I don't. It depends on the game. Anybody else yawning? Uh, my dude is probably going to yawn any minute now, yeah. Mine just did. Let us... <gasps> Oh, there's the first one. Let's me. <laughs> let's go to the next city. We're just entering this city right now, but there's another city coming up right afterwards. We'll stop in that next one.
Yeah, Super Metroid has a lot of... They, see, that's the thing is Super Metroid doesn't hold your hand, but it also doesn't let you sit there and be lost the whole time. Like, the way the game teaches you what to do and how to do it is without holding your hand the whole time. It's like you get a map to the area you're in, so it's pretty quickly obvious that you need to figure out how to get into the areas of the map you haven't been to yet. And then if you go there and there's something stopping you, it's pretty obvious what you need in order to get over there. And so then it turns into, okay, let me go to some other part of the map and see if there's a thing there that I can get that will let me into this part of the map. And then it's just this whole snowball thing. So it's like lightly holding your hand. Yeah, it's gently suggesting what to do. But without telling you, it's like, you know how modern games nowadays will, uh... Tutorial your butt off? Yeah. Ugh. They'll they'll have arrows on the ground directing you exactly what to do and where yeah, to go those are at all so times. Annoying. And this game uh, has absolutely zero of that. You can't even push a button to say, hey, can you give me a hint? It's just like good luck. But the game the game is constantly giving you like hints of like, hey, you can't go here. Ah ha ha. Yeah, I've run into too many games that are just too... I'm going to hold your hand for, like, half of the game. Space Truckers on Amazon. Isn't that the one with... Oh, God. Oh, great. A, bu a bunch of old actors that were really famous, like... Um... Oh, God. The dude from The Good and the Bad and the Ugly. What was that guy's name? Clint Eastwood. And couple of other like cool, great. good old boys and they're like space truckers basically. What? yeah yeah I remember a movie kind of like that I'm stuck are you really no I'm not okay yeah I'm I thought I would get stop at a gas station and then there was no I couldn't, because there was no option for a pump. Oh, my Getting man. stuck. That's a good. That's a good way of explaining it. Um, Eternal. It's gonna lock you in a room, and the key to get out of the room is under the rug. But it won't tell you that the key is in the room, and it won't tell you that it's under the rug. It just hopes you'll figure it out. <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty decent way. Thank you, Cappy. Double thank you. Cappy, awesome. There she is. Well, she didn't say anything. No. Ooh, driver Thomas K has leveled up. Nice. <laughs> we just talked about that, Cappy. I vaguely remember that movie coming out, like, in the early 2000s. Like, 2001, 2002, somewhere around that, that time frame. And at the time, I thought it looked really dumb. But it was also one of those movies that wasn't intended to be taken seriously. It was intended to be kind of, like, silly and dumb, but... What movie were we talking about? Space Truckers. I don't know if I've seen it. I better sleep soon. Yeah, well, there's another town coming up. I gotta get oh, gas Oh, this gonna hurt. Dang, Me too. Damn it. I just beat the shit out of my truck on that bus. <laughs> 1997, that's a lot older than I thought it was. That shit did 70% damage. Damn. Oh my god. Was it a head-on collision or what? Pretty much, yeah. Ew. You should you should avoid those. Just just a friendly suggestion. Where's the fun in that? Avoid <laughs> head-on collisions. I'm recording today. Are you? Oh, nice. Yeah. 